<laughs> More Kevin Smith. Okay, we're going to do another Kevin Smith movie. But a year after Clerks, Mallrats comes out. Mallrats is one of his lesser ones in that it wasn't as popular. Actually, I kind of liked Mallrats. I, I didn't really dislike it. Uh, it was a Kevin Smith movie where he and Jay Muse hang out in a mall. And the jokes are a little more obvious. And there's actually humor that pervades the movie that I think works in the context of the mall. Uh, I've done mall stories. Uh, at the time, in the 90s, when this movie came out, I was doing a fictionalized version of my high school life, and some of them hung out of the mall. So I was like all for this, and I was thinking, how did Kevin Smith know? Uh, so I was I was with it. I thought this was a cool one, so it worked. Uh, has Ben Affleck in it too, and a bunch of other big name people that later became popular for Goodwill Hunting and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, and the Batman, the current one coming out. Um, so yeah, was Mallrats? What is Mallrats about? Mallrats was about slackers in a mall. It's basically slackers, uh, but in a mall. And and uh, they are kind of stoners, but a little less, so it's more mainstream. Uh, he was trying for more of a, a movie audience that goes to theaters than an art house. Uh, they, the, the main story is a, a broken up couple that's in the mall that's looking to... Uh, he wants to get back together, she doesn't. He's an ass, she's not. Uh, she's actually underage. And that creates a problem later. There's a dating game thing in which they want to set her up with the cute guy that likes her. Uh, that that was funny. Uh, it could have been a little better in that scene, but but I think it worked for it being. It worked for it being a Kevin Smith movie. I think it had a lot of dialogue. Uh, it was probably weakest in that it it didn't seem to be going anywhere until the last thirty minutes with the the scene. Um, but yeah, uh, Mall Rats was not bad. I liked it. I, it had, it was the humor and the dialogue and the characters. It was like coming back home and seeing the clerks' characters doing other things, very, uh, or some of them. And yeah, it was sort of a, a refreshing thing. I, yeah, I, I don't really have a whole lot to say about it, but I did like it. So there, this is where. They use the word fat again, you know, to describe him. He describes himself that way. Uh, Jay Muse tells him, fly, you fat, fly, you know, when he does the Batman joke. Uh, he likes a Batman. J uh, Kevin Smith dresses up in a Batman gear, and he flies at one point on a pulley. And, uh, well, they, they make it look like he does. <laughs> but, but yeah, they spent a little more on it. They were making fun of those 90s dating game shows. And I think in terms of that, they really spoofed that really good. Um, uh, they, there was, there was an in-joke that was infamous where they had named a carpet store Rug Munchers to reference lesbians because back then, ooh, shocking, ooh, there's, there's reference, the gay reference in there, yay. Um, but, but yeah, not shocking now. For 1995, fairly shocking, but not, not now. Um, but I think he was playful about it. The two lesbian characters weren't being insulted for being that. They had called their store that in the story. So he was kind of saying, well, you know, they, they do what they do, you know. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. But uh, sure. Um, yeah, so that was... Uh, yeah, there were a lot of little subtexts in there. The girl was... The ir the ir ironic twist was that the girl who was underage, she was like a teenager, she was like 16 or something, uh, she's actually like a, a amateur sex therapist or something to that effect or she's just experienced and she's like running or, or, so ironically she's writing down all these times that she you know, she wants to be a sex therapist which is funny um, but but yeah it's a little it's very very strange and avant-garde but uh, Jay Moose is in it of course and Kevin Smith Jay Moose pretty much well, chews scenery all over the place in it and uh, Kevin Smith too he gets to talk uh, there's a scene in which they finally blurt out at each other, which is a running gag through the whole thing uh, in the story, in the series, that Kevin Smith never says anything until Jamie's really pisses him off, and then he's like, ah! You, 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 you fuck. 
Ah, oh, stop it. <laughs> but yeah, um, so there's Kevin Smith, uh, the mall, uh, the mall rats. <laughs> That's what's funny. 